Hi, this is a quick video on how to install and set up OBS Remote. OBS Remote is a plugin for open broadcaster software, or OBS, that allows you to remotely control OBS from another computer while you stream. Uh, so before we get started, I'd just like to say thanks to Jim and the other developers at OBS for helping me get this project going. Uh, it's required that I modify the OBS API uh, a couple times to get everything uh, working to actually get this plugin going. Um, so uh, to first, first to start up uh, OBS Remote, all you you need to go to obsremote.com, um, and then from there go to Get OBS Plugin, um, download the installer from SourceForge, um, and so after a couple seconds that'll download, and then uh, go ahead and run the installer. Which just go ahead and say allow. And the installer, uh, what that's going to do um, is one, it's going to install um, the, the files required for the actual plugin and OBS. And the second thing that it's going to do is uh, open a firewall exception um, in Windows so that you can actually access the OBS remote plugin from another computer. Um, and this is just on your local network, um, it's not a public. Uh, firewall exception. So uh, after installing uh, I should be able to open up OBS um, which for OBS uh, remote is re the minimum required version is 0 0.471 um, I'm actually running 472 here um, but here you should be able to see in the plugins window that OBS remote uh, is installed and you can see the plugin um, and so after you've done that um, all you have to do is go back to obsremote.com, hit launch remote, and what that's going to do uh, is launch this uh, web client which is access the remote. So initially uh, the first time you bring up the remote um, you're going to have to specify uh, a host name uh, to connect to uh, in the remote and this will get saved for future um, log on so whenever you bring this up next time you won't have to reconfigure this. Um, so all I need to do here is specify since I'm on the same computer to specify localhost um, if this if I was actually want to connect to OBS remote from uh, another computer I want to put in my uh, local IP address here or host name um, but for now we're just going to use localhost. So um, once you connect, everything turns green, the status icon, um, its connection status, etc. Um, to get this little dialog to go away, I can just hit this um, status icon down here. If I need to change the host name later, I can just bring this dialog back up by clicking the status icon. Um, and so, um, what you can see now is that I can control uh, a number of things from OBS Remote. I can switch scenes. I can um, control uh, the sources, I can change the ordering of the sources, um, and all of that gets uh, matched in act the actual OBS window there. And um, I can do start, I can either start streaming, start preview, I can uh, control the volume levels for uh, OBS as well. All of this from the web client. Um, so the next thing I'm going to want to do is set up uh, my stream preview options. So right now this is only working for Twitch, um, but what I'm going to want to do is enter my Twitch username. Uh, when I set show stream, show chat, and only when streaming. Um, and basically only when streaming means that the flash only shows up when you're actually streaming. Uh, so go ahead and hit OK. And you can see here it has my Twitch chat uh, window over here on the side of this, but um, for now I'm going to go ahead and hit start streaming. You can see OBS is starting to stream. Waits a couple of seconds for the preview to show up over here uh, in the client. And so now you can see um, I have my preview over here. I can go ahead and I can switch um, my scenes. I can Go ahead and control volume levels. Let's say I need to talk to someone or something, I, and I'm in game. I can just 
hit mute from over in the client, I don't have to alt tab to OBS to do that or remember whatever the hotkey is. Um, so you can also see that down here in the lower right hand panel of uh, OBS Remote is the standard uh, stream statistics that you would see. Uh, time running, drop frames, uh, your FPS, and also your bitrate. And so um, this will, I mean, these will just help you monitor your stream status uh, from a separate computer if you're wanting to do that and make sure that you're not dropping frames or losing frame rate or anything like that. And so uh, this has just been, you know, hopefully you can just have the client running on a separate computer and it'll help you. Uh, manage things if you need it um, and I'm hoping to get some more functionality in uh, in the future hopefully for having some more control over the sources and also being able to preview um, maybe without flash and or maybe uh, from other st uh, streaming sources so that's it for now I'm going to stop streaming and uh, hopefully uh, you'll find some use for OBS remote Thanks.